breaking news, TikTok. We about to make history with this one. Excuse me, our story. Let me show you what I mean. This is the people they called the Sumerians. This is the picture that I took from the Brooklyn Museum. And as you can see here, he's holding what all the archaeologists call a pine cone. And as you can see here, they're also holding a bag. You might have seen those type of bags in all the different Sumerian tablets. As you can see here in another picture that I took, a whole different bag than the other Sumerians were holding. We'll circle back to this in one second. Because as you can see here, I took a lot of pictures and a lot of videos of these tablets. And this picture shows that he is not holding a pine cone. That is a piece of corn. Oh, and if you notice, a lot of time they don't show you the whole stone depiction. Because as you can see here, he's clearly picking the corn or maize. And as you can see here, you see squash and beans. I hate to break it to you, boss, but that is the Milpa planting system. As you can see here in this receipt, you can clearly see the maize, the beans, and the squash. It's a supportive root system that's from the Americas. In fact, that's how we planted the Amazon rainforest. As you can see here in these receipts. The Milpa planting system is a supported root system called the Three Sisters. These plants love to be together so much you didn't have to use insecticide. You barely had to water them. And the vibration of them being together made the soil even more fertile. And for the people that don't know, the Amazon rainforest is a food pantry and a medicine cabinet. But this is why it's so dangerous for them to be teaching us our story. Because most of them don't have the Akashic record to reach back to. This is one of the Sumerian bags they're holding. And as you can see here, it had many symbols on it that kind of look like the same symbol. Like they used some sort of instrument and made the indentations. But I want you to listen to my voice and find your way back. Don't look at the indentation. Look between the indentation and as you can see here you'll see like a three you'll see a three looking shape here also that's right that bag when you start looking at it in a 3D way it will start popping out to you and it kind of looks like graffiti bubble lettering. As you can see here, here's another Sumerian bag depiction. And if you use your Akashic record, you'll be able to see what's in that bag. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but leave your answer in the comments. I'm anxious to know what my people see in that bag. Again, don't look at the shapes. Look at the space between the shapes. Speaking about bags, this is another picture that I took from the Brooklyn Museum 
of another Sumerian. And this was the bag he was holding. And this was like a smooth piece of stone. It was not corn. It was not a pine cone. It didn't have the indentations. But I know that there was a special rock that could turn off and turn on electricity that they made their sacred staves out of. But let's focus on this bag. Because as you can see here, it is depicting two serpent looking guys who I know are the Naga people. As you can see here, wrapped around his arm is two snakes back to the bag. As you can see here, that's a spinal column. So they're showing you that they knew how to create life and that they were bringing the knowledge of creating life to that landmass. Because as you can see here, this is the Maya God who created maize. As you can see here, in her headdress, there's corn. And this is her son, Mashik. He was the Aztec God. And as you can see here, he's holding the cacao plant, what we made chocolate out of. Not only did we plant these fruits and vegetables, but we created the seed. And for the people who didn't know, that's why the Aztecs turned their name into the Mashika after him, Mashik. And the Maya's actual name is Danavas, D-A-N-A-V-A-S. They were also known as the Naga. And the Sumerian and the South Asian and the Nubian and the Olmec, oh, and the Egyptians. We are all the same people, but they switch up their names and provenance to keep us confused and to keep us from knowing our true story. As you can see here in this bust, this is a picture that I took from the Brooklyn Museum of a kid the provenance said that he was from Egypt. But I know damn well he's not from Egypt. Because I did a whole video about the Greeks. And he was in it. So as you can see here, these people are incapable of telling the truth. Time for us to learn our own story again. And rise back to our former powers. Peace to the gods and the goddesses of our universe.